What it do, your boy J. Reed? We're here with another banger. So, goddamn, Kelsey, Megan Stallion, Tory Lane's case. So, Megan Stallion, former friend Kelsey Harris, was due back in spinning testimony Wednesday about what happened to the uh, DA in September. So, with the altercation, there was some messages sent. She was texting Kelsey, the friend of Megan Stallion, was texting her, and the cops retrieved those messages of her. I believe in the statement, uh, in fact, I went to, yeah, they were texting, they found those text messages, and also the Dr. Lee uh, Harancho, the chief uh, resident of orthopedic surgery, walked jurors through the x-ray showing the wounds of Megan's feet. He said they identified four metallic bullet, bullet fragments embedded in her feet, and they removed what they could during the emergency that night. He said, and the judge allowed the prosecutor said Lane's defense opened the door by impugning the integrity on the cross of Harris Jr. said here. So I, I look at it like this: this is seemed like a drunk night, uh, a gun was involved. I think, but this is my humble opinion that she tried to take the weapon. Uh, I believe her and Tori, Megan and Tori, was touching over the weapon. I think in the incident, the gun went off. It ricocheted in the car, maybe. Uh, she was kicking her feet, and glass got on it. And that's what I think. That's what happened. Maybe the bullet ricocheted and grazed her foot. But I just don't believe intentionally this man pulled out the gun and shot her. I think out of her anger, her out of being frustrated, decided to use that weapon or whatever. But I would love to hear what the bodyguard had to say. Because for the be Kelsey friend, I don't believe... For Kelsey and Megan to be close friends, they don't seem as, you know, as buddy-buddy or BFF in this case right here. Uh, it looks like, you know, it's been some backstabbing, some bitter blood, some bad blood between the two. And a lot of ruckus and chaos between the two. Uh, you know, they already been back and forth. You know, Megan was sleeping with, having sex with her, fr uh, her boyfriends, whatever. And Kelsey doing the same. So, you know, let me tell you something, guys. If one of your friends is having sex with one of your exes or the girls you're dealing with, one of your friends, guys, or whatever, ladies and gentlemen, they're not your real friends. They're jealous. They want to be like you. So if you can't get the girl or the guy they want to get with, they feel like they got one up on you. Because, you know, a lot of people are haters. They, they're jealous of you. They feel entitled. You know, they, they're haters. They, they, they're hating on the sideline. They want to be your friend or be so-called cool with you to be in your business. That's what's happening. Uh... That's definitely what's going on. I see right here. They also said, you know, they expected the Megan Stay and former friend Kelsey Harris, Kelsey Nicole expected to testify and cooperate making testimony that Tory shot the savage rapper in both feet in July twenty twenty. Uh so yeah. The whole story is about I'm having sex with. And okay, 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 okay. I read that. So, what, what is going on right now in this love triangle right here, guys? Is that, you know, this baby the stallion and rock nation is trying to make her seem like the sweet, innocent princess. You know, she tried to fight out her labor deal with 1801 and, you know, Crawford and those guys. See, they're trying to make her seem like the media's darling. They're trying to make it seem sweet, innocent, princess, just, you know, flawless individual. She felt like she won the war she didn't deserve. I don't believe she's that talented. She's, she's talented, but I don't believe she's big as is winning these awards right here. You know, she's supposed to be the leader in face for black women and black women matter and protect black women bullshit. I don't care what nobody say. The LGBT community is protected. Black women are protected. Every other race is protected, but black goddamn men. I, I, I don't get this shit right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure when they heard his testimony, those jurors, the jury, you know, was thinking like, damn, they're trying to paint Tori as this monster. I think Rock Nation, uh, he even said in the interviews, he said, you know, he got a call from Rock Nation saying, you don't need to put this out. Talk about that shooting that happened or whatever. So. I definitely think they're bullying her. Their PR is trying to make her seem like, you know, this sweet, innocent little girl. You know, the label does that. The label, uh, you know, is, it are in the smoking mirrors, you know, putting on the image, this fraud, this phony of others right here. I, I just think, you know, this is what happens when you, 
out there, you know, fucking. You know, motherfuckers getting their feelings. They want to have it all. You know, they want to have the cake, ice cream, and eat it too. And they can't take that shit. So, I definitely think that's what's happening right now. Uh, we'll see the definitely the results of this. Tory is definitely fighting for his life right now. His livelihood. He's definitely fighting for everything, you know, that, that matters to him right now. His life is on the line. He's in the balance. So, yeah, so, also it says right here in the bombshell recorded interview, Megan Thee Stallion ex-assistant claimed Tory Lane threatened to shoot her inside the Cadillac Escalade before Megan was shot. Because he said she... Pursued more than a friendship with Tori Lanez, began an intimate relationship with Tori after Megan encouraged her to do so. However, she she caught COVID. She had to go back home to Texas for two months while she was gone. Megan was sleeping with Tori too. Wow. Oh wow. Dressing a black M so with her hair in a bun, hair soldier. She and Megan met Tori Lanez at Rock Nation event in 2020. And became friends. She said. Megan tried to set her up with Tori at first, but she caught COVID and was home in Houston for two or three months. She believed the dynamic between Megan and Tori changed while she was away. So, the two best friends want to fuck. Uh, this is what I realized. Women introduce their friends to women that they want. Introduce their, women introduce their friends to men that they want, and they want to have sex with. So, they can fuck them too. See, they jealous of you. A lot of people think they got real friends. They ain't your real friends. They want the woman you got, the man you got. A lot of y'all ain't with your real friend. They try to see what you got. They try to have the eyes on you. So this is a very, very uh, dynamic. Mm. This is a very strange dynamic right here with this. So the best friends was fucking one another for whatever reason. Why? I don't understand. There's plenty of people out here in the world. So why would you want to go after, you know, you know, somebody that you're so-called friend is having sex with and you gonna jump with them like eh, this ain't messy man they ain't try to offer some money eh, you know it's just highlights from McKelsey she met up with Tori at the hotel after the shooting and he apologized when asked why did why did Tori apologize if he didn't shoot me because said I never asked why he was apologizing after Kelsey denied seeing Megan bleeding, she was injured. Kelsey was asked by prosecutors there was a lot of blood in the SUV. Who was bleeding so profusely? Kelsey responded, I don't know. That was a blur. I can't recall anyone. Tried to introduce Kelsey. IG posted to evidence. Tory defense attorneys objected and stated that the IG post was never proven or sent to them. She just sent everyone home. Could work tanks out and charges them. So, they're trying to say... They're trying to use Kelsey IG polls and stuff against Tory. So I guess in the process of that, the judge was like, nah, nah, we you had to find another way to do that. This right here is probably one of the most stranger things I ever seen in hip hop history right here. A three year trial, a three year case. Whoever walks away from it, I think well, I believe Megan's still gonna live her career. Cause I just believe they're gonna protect her. She's so well protected. She has a goddamn fortress around her. Everybody likes her. It's all about who we fuck with. So people gonna gravitate towards her. They gonna people still gonna fuck with her. They gonna say the justice system failed. Tory lied. It was just the money he bought it. So they gonna make up an excuse anyways. People gonna believe what they wanna believe. People gonna say do what they wanna do. So. I think Tori could walk away with a dub, but Megan's definitely not going to walk away with an L. And if she do lose this case, I feel like she should walk away with an L and be canceled. And I think she should do time in jail for this shit. For ruining this man's reputation, the defamation of character, scrutiny, pain and suffering and trauma that this man is going through right now. To keep a black man in chains right now and lock him up, what you doing right now? I, I, I just don't understand. It also said, Kelsey said, Megan told Tori he was only hot because he hopped on the remix of Jack Harlow's song. The part of you played the audio of Kelsey telling them in September when they met with her that Tori threatened to shoot her. Kelsey responded, everything I said in September wasn't truthful. Kelsey denies Tori ever threatened her. The part of you played the audio of Kelsey telling them during the interrogation that Tori called her and Megan bitches and hoes. I told y'all that. I don't remember what happened that night. It was a surprise. You asked Tori, asked Kelsey at some point during this case. Tori tried to bribe Kelsey. 
responded, not just me, responded, not just me. Did he offer you a million dollars to say anything about the case? He mentioned a million dollars, yeah. Prosecutor said, did he offer you a million dollars to stay quiet about it? It's funny, he didn't say a shooting. Prosecutor asked Kelsey, did you witness a shooting that night? She responded, no, I heard shots. Did he say, the prosecutor said, did he say he would give you and Me Megan a million dollars not to say anything about shooting? Because right, he did not say a shooting. Uh, the prosecutor played audio Kelsey telling him, told her to ask her to work for her, asking if she wants him to fund any business ventures for her, asking if she needs him to get him a lawyer. If she needs him to get her a lawyer, Kelsey said, Kelsey said she told Tori, why would I need a lawyer? Prosecutors asking, when May got out of the car, did you see gunshots? He's like, no, I heard shot. Asked Kelsey, what did you see? I don't remember. Asked Kelsey, if you remember telling them that she saw Tori shoot Megan when they met up with her and said, Tim Kelsey's like, I said a lot of things that wasn't true to protect myself. Protect yourself from what she was incriminating myself. Wow. This damn Kelsey's a tough motherfucking cookie. She ain't. What Shotty said? I don't bend, we don't fold. She is taking this shit like a straight G. I don't. This shit right here is some deep shit. Uh, I definitely think. I, I definitely think the jury reached a verdict. I, I hopefully Curry beat this. Uh, I'm a fan of both his music. Me personally, I don't believe he did. It's just lies upon lies. Uh, Megan got so many inconsistencies in the story. So many fallacies is going on with her. She can't, you know, once you lie, you got to remember a lie, man. The truth always come out. Uh, once the dark come to the light, and the lie don't care who tell it. You know, there's a lot of fabrication for her. And after Kelsey told prosecutors, I know she lied when she told him Tori shot Meg, and she wasn't 100% truthful because she didn't want to incriminate herself. Prosecutors asked Kelsey, incriminate yourself in what? Did you shoot Meg? And she responded, no. First, you reminded Kelsey she received immunity, but she can still be prosecuted for perjury if she lies on the oath. So basically, if she lies on the oath about anything after putting her head on, putting her hand on the Bible, right hand on the Bible, I solemnly swear to God, she can be going to jail. She lied. So she's saying she don't remember. She's saying she can't recollect what happened to the incident. This was three years ago. It was traumatic. She's a lot of pain and suffering that night. It was a, you know, it was a fucked up night. What happened that night? You know, a lot of, a lot of things that transpired. So, but you know, they got to prove that she can't remember. So, prosecutors reminded Kelsey she received immunity. Prosecutors asked Kelsey if she didn't see Tory shoot Megan, then why did you take Megan's security guard? Justin said that Tory shot Megan. That's funny. I don't know. I was in a panic. Tory, oh man, somebody's lying, man. Somebody's lying. Man, somebody's lying, man. But I guess it was, we gonna see. The truth gonna come out. So, Kelsey said she lied to prosecutors when she said I got two or three to five shots at at Megan when he when we got out the car. He offered me a million dollars and asked to do favors for me if I stay quiet. Tory punched me. We will post the full trans. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody took some money. Somebody did something. The Kelsey, the Kelsey counsel approaches the branch with the prosecutor and defense attorney. They spoke for about five. The judge at Hall's court and sent him. He says, yeah, Kelsey, no, Lord. Kelsey came back in the court. The prosecutor asked Kelsey again, when Tory threatened to shoot you, exactly what did Tory say? Do I have to answer that? The judge told her, yes. She evoked her fifth amendment. The judge, then the judge, then again, asked counsel to approach. Kelsey approached the bench with the prosecutor and defense attorney. They spoke for five. Okay. So she evoked her Fifth Amendment again. The prosecutor then pulled out Kelsey's statements and asked Kelsey, Do you remember telling this Tory Lane threatened to shoot you on the ride home? Kelsey replied with yes. Kelsey then asked the judge to speak to her lawyer. Kelsey was escorted outside to speak to her lawyer. Wow. She playing that motherfucker, boy. This is law and order for your ass. It's going down in the courtroom right now. I tell you, well, everybody act hard and act tough when you're in front of that motherfucking judge and, and that judge say he give you 30 years to throw your ass in prison. Everybody act games when it's time to go to prison. But y'all let me know in the comments section, who y'all think lying, guys? Who do y'all feel like is lying? Kelsey testified after Tory exposed Megan for sleeping with him behind Kelsey's bed. Megan turned to her and told her, don't listen to him, girl. Then turned to her and told him, why will you tell that? Jerk. 
Jury 38 was accused for the case. She was on two black women on the case. She was replaced by a term of jury. Okay. Okay, so... By the, uh, short, my shortness up. So Kelsey walked to the courtroom with her lawyer. Her lawyer, she did not want to testify that we vote a Fifth Amendment. Prosecutor told the judge that they will offer immunity for any everything she says stands on the stand. Counts pro defense. Yeah, so it, it's a whole lot right now going on. It's been a, a week. So I'm pretty sure they're going to start Monday getting back at it. They're they going to get Monday getting at it. I, I think Tori is, is innocent. I'm going to say it. Uh, Y'all let me know in the comment section who, who you feel like guilty or not. Megan Thee Stallion, of course. Do you feel like the best friend is lying? Where's the bodyguard? Why isn't he in this case right now? Is he going to let us show up? But uh, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about it. Who lying? Who telling the truth? Is Tory lying? Did Tory shoot her? Did Megan lie? Hey, man, to be continued, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm out.